Hey, Mom. Hey, just checking in. What's up to? Uh. I was looking for something lighter. I had done a few dramas over the year, over the couple of years, or a few years back to back, and um, and I thoroughly loved my experiences on them. But I just wanted to go to work and have some fun, and uh, and I loved the original Fright Night. So when it came to me, the script, I was a bit dubious about what it was going to be and how it was going to be treated or revisited or reimagined or retold, contemporized, etc., etc. And I read it and it was just, it was a quick read. It was really entertaining. And I was like, wow, I'd kind of love to do this. That guy, your neighbor? Jerry. Yeah, he's a vampire. <laughs> that is a terrible vampire name, Jerry. I had a bit of trepidation about how it was going to be received and, and uh, you know, were we going to do it, the original justice, just even the sensibility or the tone or you know, the feeling of the original justice. Because tone is really important in this film, like it was in the original, you know, the striking the balance between horror and comedy. Craig really wanted this movie to be funny. He thought that that was a big part of the original, because uh, it was scary and funny, and campy in ways, and I know he wanted to keep this movie scary, but, you know, you're not gonna, it's not like, it's not hostile, you're not gonna go in there and be, he wants you to have a good time in this movie, so you, he wants to have laughs sprinkled throughout the movie as well. Because there are a lot of bad people out there, Charlie. I think um, when you break down the vampire to its foundation, its skeletal form, it's something that's highly sexual and sexualized. And so if you are taken and you are seduced by the vampire, um, you are conforming to that sexuality and, um, and going back to the kind of primal human instincts and one of them being sex. I'm counting on it. I think regarding the script, obviously there was this foundation there, but um, the director, Craig Gillespie, was very liberal with us trying stuff and improvising, and, and um, therefore we kind of created a playground, I suppose, to, to trust as well.